What up, YouTube? 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 Well, today it might be a small little video. I'm not too sure. It depends on how long it takes for me to do it. But it's pretty common, pretty easy, uh, easy fix. Um, basically, I did a coolant flush, replaced my thermostat, put some water wetter. Um, basically, the water wetter supposedly keeps the coolant temps down by a few degrees. It claims like 15 degrees, but honestly, I don't see no damn difference. So that was probably a waste. But um, yeah, so um, replaced the thermostat, did a coolant flush, but now it still like overheats at idle. Like it would, honest, it's pretty freaking hot. It's about like 100 plus degrees here in Texas. So when I'm at idling, like, Cooling temps constantly stay at like 200 to 214, and that's a little too high, than higher than I would want it to be. And I am getting a code for the control fan module. Um, I'm not sure if that's, I guess that's the problem. I'm not, I'm guessing it's just not turning on when it should be turning on. Um, the fan turns on, and every time I come home, turn off the car, the fan's still running. So, like, I don't know, the control module's working, but there's a code for it. So, I'm guessing it's not coming on when it should be. I'm not too sure. So, I did get this one. I'll go out outside and kind of show you. I got, like, this Chinese one. And, yeah, so we're going to put that on, and uh, I've never taken one off. So, uh, let's go outside and um, get to it. Okay, so... First things first is I'm going to take this one off, however that, however you do that, there you go, got that one off, now we'll get this connector off down here, probably going to have to have two hands for that, okay, so I already took it off, basically we took that connector, take that one off, and then we're gonna have a T20, T20 little screw right here, which goes, the fan module is like this. It's gonna be down here, which connects to this little baby right here, this little green connector that connects, you know, to this thing. And yeah, so we got everything out. Now, I didn't get a OEM one just kind of got a Chinese knockoff so we'll kind of see how uh, good this thing is I'm not too sure um, as you can see basically the same thing but like I said it's a knockoff one so let's uh, put this bad baby on and see if it helps the issue this doesn't honestly don't look bad, but it says it's bad. So let's put this in. It's uh, it's like a kind of like a little, it's like a certain way to like put this in there. There you go. Let's see, it won't come off. And then we'll get that screw, put it back in, and uh, yeah, connect the two connectors, turn on the car, and see what goes on. Let it idle for a while and go from there. Okay, so I got everything in. Yeah. Put these back where they go. Tucked away down here. Okay. The Gucci. Um, I do have an issue with my AC hose. Um, it is, uh, I already chewed a hole, but basically, if you come down here, as you can see, the front mount intercooler is rubbing right against the AC hose right here, and it rubbed up against it so badly that it chewed a big hole in it. Um, one of my friends were just saying get like a coolant hose cut in half and just wrap it around. Um, if anyone has any advice on how to keep that from happening again, I'm going to have to, you know, replace that piece and recharge the AC system because it's death, death out here. Um, but yeah, other than that, we got everything good. 
I'm gonna reset my codes. And then I might have to just drive it around because I don't think it's gonna get hot enough to wear. I need it to be. Let's go in here. See what codes pops up. So we got a, uh, you see, right there, four, eight, 80. Cooling fan one, control circuit mount function. So we replace that. This, honestly, I don't even know what this is. It just came out out of random. I guess it's just, just I don't know, it probably just popped up. I've never seen this before. So I'm gonna reset it and hopefully this just goes away. Cruise control mount function. I don't know. I don't know what that one's about. And then this one's gonna be for my, um, traction control i have the abs turned off completely and yeah so we'll wait to start her up codes are complete okay so i'm gonna probably just let it idle for a while and see what happens okay so I think I got it. I think it's fixed. Um, usually it goes, I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it with the sun glaring everywhere, but basically it's, it's fixed around like 214. The fan starts to kick on and then it'll cool down the coolant and go back down to 208, but it's not going past 214 anymore. Uh, with the module, it would keep on going to like you know 235 240 um i don't know i i don't know if it's because it's hot i need to burp the system but it's never at like a steady 180 anymore we, we are in summertime a lot of humidity and shit so that might be the reason i'm not too sure but it won't go past more than 214 but usually my coolant temps stay around 200 to like 208 kind of here and there give or take but uh, yeah man that's pretty much it well hopefully you guys like the video and uh yeah next is gonna be another uh mod i'm gonna be replacing and upgrading too and uh yeah so till next time i'll see you guys later peace